All right, so here's page two of our unit one, part two, study guide. Um, this says write an algebraic expression. Tommy wants to divide 60 pieces of candy up into W groups. So we want to divide 60 into W groups. So we're going to take 60 divided by W. Anija makes $15 an hour for X hours. $15 every hour for X hours. That would be 15X. Micah has 35 baseball cards and gave C to his sister. So he starts with 35, but he gives C away. That's going to be a subtraction problem. We give something away, we're subtracting it. So 35 minus C. Lindsay had 13 pairs of earrings and bought E more pairs. So she start with 13, she bought E more pairs. That's a subtract an addition problem. 13 plus E. Angela had seven pencils less than Bobby's X number of pencils. So Angela has less. She has seven less than Bobby's X. So we're going to take X minus seven. Maud paid eight dollars for every shirt. She bought S shirts. Eight dollars for each shirt means we take eight and multiply it by S. All right, next section. Write an algebraic expression for the perimeter and area of the rectangle. So remember, we're not going to be able to get an answer for these. We're just writing expressions. And so for the first one, perimeter is the distance around. So we'll add 15 plus 6x plus 15, because these have to match, plus 6x. So those match. So we'll do 15 plus 6x plus 15 plus 6x. And then for area is length times width. So 15 times 6x. 15 times 6x. Okay. We could shorten those up, and if you remember how to do that, we talked about that in class, that's great. Um, and I'll just remind you that we can add the two 15s, so that would be 30. And we can add the uh, six X's, and that would be 12 X. So that's a shorter way to write that. And you usually see those written with the 12 X first and the 30 seconds, usually written like that. You don't need to do this. If this is confusing, stick with this. And then a reminder that we could multiply the 15 and the 6 as well. Okay, let's look at the next one. A little more complicated. We know that this side has to be equal to 2y plus 7, and we know that this side has to equal 3. So for perimeter, we have 2y plus 7 plus 2y plus 7 plus 3 plus 3. And again, we could combine the 2y's to get 4y, and we could combine all of these numbers to get 20, but you don't have to do that. All right, area then is length times width, so this would be 2y plus 7, and then we multiply all of that by 3, so that's length times width. All right, difference between an equation and an expression, very easy. An equation has an equal sign. An expression does not. An equation has an equal sign, An expression does not have an equal sign. All right, so we want to write the opposite operations here. We need that because we're getting ready to solve some equations. We want to remember to do opposite operations. So the opposite of subtraction is addition. The opposite of addition is subtraction, of course. The opposite of multiplication is divide. And the opposite of division is multiply. Those are also called not only opposite operations, they are also called inverse operations. So you're going to hear that word inverse as well. Those are inverse operations. It means the same thing as opposite operations. All right, that's page two. Tune in to the next video for page three.